What is the most horrible thing you caught a classmate doing in school? Get a hand job in class. He got caught and said he was masturbating to save the girl from getting in trouble and he got suspended. This was in 8th grade. Edit. Happened in California. Edit story 2. Different girl gave a blowjob to her boyfriend in a stairway at our high school during junior year. Our campus security guard caught them and they both got suspended. That actually sounds like a nice guy. Chivalry is not dead. That hand job got turned into a blowjob that weekend. I watched one of my buddies back in sophomore year take out a little bag of whitish powder that had a yellow tint to it. I asked him what he was doing as he made a small line on the desk in the back of the classroom where we sat and he quickly sniffed it up his nostril. He let out a loud wooo as he finished the line and the whole class turned around and looked at us. Turns out it was ketamine. Sorry for the horrible spelling. Tight tight tight. M sturbating in the corner of the library to a magazine with a picture of Beyonce on the front. During a silent reading lesson with 30 other kids in the room. It's clear from this thread that middle school kids were M sturbat in class on a dime. So I'm surprised that students weren't simply exploding in their pants when they saw the magazine. After being denied permission to go to the restroom. Some guy pissed into a bottle and left it on his desk. He told his teacher it was Gatorade and asked her if she wanted some. Did. This one kid at my school had apparently been storing his cum for months in water bottles that he kept in his locker. Near the end of the year during one of the passing periods he brought out the cum bottles. Pulled off the caps. And proceeded to sling them around effectively striking everyone in the hallway with age locker cum. I was lucky enough to get hit in the arm. I have contemplated cutting it off. Once in school. I believe we were around 12-13. To avoid the nasty confusion of forms and years and grades. We were watching a documentary on the holocaust. A girl in the back of the room screamed in disgust. The film was pretty graphic so we all expected that to be the source and I remember initially being annoyed at her reaction. Then a guy sitting perpendicular to her. We were around circular tables also screams out of pain, gets up, and runs out of the room with his cock through the zipper of his trousers. He had been facing the screen whilst everyone else at his circular table effectively had to turn away to see. He evidently thought a holocaust film was the perfect time to end Sturbert. He got caught. And in a panic tried to zip his trousers back up and got caught. I remember I caught a girl giving a boy a blowjob in the science lab closet. Dot. We were in 6th grade. She must have been in the Head Start program. I don't know if it's horrible. But in middle school there was this couple that sat across from my table in the lunch room. Every day she would give him a hand job under the table. Which was very obvious from where my friends and I sat. I always wondered if the people they sat with knew. I mean they had to write. I guess he never finished because I don't know how you'd be able to look your friends in the eye while you're violently jizzing on the underside of the lunch table. Or worse. Onto the open toed sandals of the girl across from him. Edit. Missed some punctuation. I'm not a writer. Okay. Edit 2. Till everybody was getting handies under the lunch table except for me. In a school in my neighborhood jogging pants are banned because students would whip it out and start masturbating during classes in these pants. All together now. We had a spoiled dick lord in my grade 9 class. We went on a field trip to a marine biology center. We were messing around. And he grabbed a starfish out of the live tank. Held it to his shirt. Turned to the girl he liked and said hey. I'm a sheriff. What he didn't know was that when starfish feel they are going to die, they release all their jizz in an attempt to impregnate another random starfish. He proceeded to get a load all over his shti. And yelled he peed on me. Our teacher had a wonderful time telling him it was not urine. But starfish come. We forever called him spummy and when he cried to her teacher about the name, she told him to get used to it. As it was going to stick. I love that teacher. Forgive any spelling. This is from my phone. Comma spermy as it was going to stick. He I went to a K-12 school because my town is tiny as hell. 
One day when I was in middle maybe high school. I was killing time from class taking a shti in the stall. Unfortunately. Shortly after getting down to business an elementary class came in on a bathroom break. On this day. I learned just how much little kids love poop. I guess they liked when people didn't flush so they could see people's poop. They all ran in yelling I hope there's poop. And I wanna see some poop. Since there wasn't any in the other stall they thought the solution would be to see my poop. Which caused them to riot and slam on the door yelling I want to see poop. I just wiped. Called the rest of the remaining shti a loss. And slammed open the stall and ran away back to class. Didn't mention what had happened to my classmates. TL. Kid jerked off in 8th grade math class. And finished. In class. He had two empty seats around. And was actually being pretty stealthy. Until the moment of ecstasy when he began breathing real heavy. A girl noticed about 10 seconds before he finished. And she gave a very loud. Startled. What are you doing? He was at the point of no return though. And just blew his load with his hands down his pants. He freaked out the minute he finished and the teacher started screaming at him. He ran from the room. But he left some cum on the door handle as he left. Obviously. He never lived it down. Every time I see the people don't forget. Thing from Superbird. I think of him. In college I would leave in the middle of class. Go to the bathroom. Jerk off to something that I found on my smartphone. I remember coming back to class and 3 or 4 people were looking at me as if they knew what I just did. They call him the Clusturbator. Pee down the slide. We were in 3rd grade. I slid down a slide in 3rd grade. The implications are clear. You know how bathroom stalls have those awkward cracks you can see through? I walked into the bathroom one day in school to see a guy pissing through that crack. Attempting to spray the kid who was pooping and had nowhere to run. I have no idea why. I just turned around and left. PL. DR. Peeing on poopers. Edit. Another high school pooping story. I walked into the bathroom and two guys were discussing the logistics of two guys shitting in the same toilet. I joined in. We spent the next 10 minutes arguing about various angles. High school was weird. Comma I have no idea why. I just turned around and left. That was definitely the good decision. But honestly the only right thing to do would be to whip it out and piss on that pisser only a coward pees on a defenseless man. A strong and selfless man would have got into a literal pissing match with this dude. I wouldn't expect that from everyone. Though. In 6th grade I caught a special needs kid telling on me for being in a fist fight. I was beating up a kid who had been picking on the special needs kid. Edit. For clarification. The fight was a last resort. I tried to ask the bully to stop. Et tu. Botnet. Back in 8th grade I was taking an exam in history and when I finished I looked around the classroom and saw one guy sleeping. After the exam my teacher tried to wake him up and no success so he called the paramedics. Turns out the guy had a heart attack and passed away right there. So what's the worst thing I've caught a kid doing in class? One time I walked in on a good friend teammate shitting in the locker room showers. Then he kicked the poop against the wall and yelled poo poo. At the moment it was horrifying. But it made for a great story afterwards. Did it. Just to clarify for everyone. This was in high school. I was 18. My friend was 17. This entire scenario leaves more questions than it answers. Dude in my US Navy boot camp class. You had to take like Navy history classes etc. Found out in a letter that his GF had left him. Took off running right as we were going into class. Leapt onto a third floor rail ledge thing. It was San Diego and classes all had outside entrances. No inside hallways. And then proceeded to do a swan dive onto the concrete 30 feet below with his f-king hands held behind his back. Dead instantly. Saw him dive but only heard him land. We were immediately pushed inside by company commanders and then locked down. When we got to head back to the barracks a little while later. They were using a fire hose to try to wash all the blood away. Very disturbing to 18 year old me. 
Morbid question. Did you hear a scream? I've heard that when people jump, as opposed to being intoxicated and falling off a balcony, they pretty much always scream as if regretting it. But if this guy straight up swan dived off it and held his hands behind his back he seems pretty committed. Holy shit. One time a kid unzipped his pants and started fking a rental trumpet. Writing what looked like a bunch of names on a piece of paper. My best guess at the time was. It was a list of people who upset him or people he didn't like or it could have been something more. I cannot say for sure if anything would. Have come from it. We all know teenage angst and anger. But at that time I thought that's what it was. Norfolk. VA incident? Edit. Phil. Reddit is. Can be. A small world. This bitchy girl I sat next to in 6th grade math did a silent fart just as I was bending down to get a calculator out of my backpack. Which put me in the hit zone. Not that disturbing. But it was honestly the nuclear bomb of all farts. I started choking on the fumes and the entire class stopped the lesson to see if I was okay. I finally caught my breath. Told the teacher I had asthma, not true, and was sent down to the nurse's office. I got to nap for the rest of the school day and the girl was always nice to me after that. Walking through the parking lot at the end of lunch I saw someone in their car getting a blow. In 8th grade one of my female classmates was in the locker room blowing a classmate. 3rd classmate took a video of it and sent it around. She was proud of it. Edit. My most upvoted comment. Thanks guys. Edit 2. No child PRN charges ever came about. I believe they got suspended for the rest of the year though. Caught a girl trying to hang herself in a stairway. That girl went on to become a PRN star. Edit just figured out how to edit comments ha ha ha. Well her name in Alana reigns. Not that attractive. This happened in a school in NW Georgia. My school had a kid try to kill himself by jumping off the walkway overlooking the stairs. The awful thing was that kids were encouraging him to jump with the rationalization he wouldn't have died. He would have just broken his legs. High school is a terrible place. When I was in primary school there was a girl who had very few friends and was a little odd. One day whilst I was sitting next to her she lifted her dress and stuck her pen in herself and then looked at me dead in the eye and started clicking the pen with fury. I never sat next to her after that. Did it. To clear a few things up. She wasn't stabbing herself. She was inserting it. Also we were about 10 years old at the time. I was hoping for a we're married now and have 3 kids. Maybe she had an octop SSY and ran out of ink. Edit. Gold. I'm flattered. In high school history class. The teacher was a great prankster but a bit of a nutcase and let us do basically whatever we wanted. One day a friend of mine took the teacher's coffee cup to the bathroom. Came back with a pea coffee mixture and handed it to the teacher. My buddy even told him. I peed it that and the teacher looks him dead in the eyes and enthusiastically says good. And drinks it. He probably knew once he'd tasted it. But he never let us know it. Just continued to sip it and look at my buddy and wink. Dominance was established. TL. Dr. Buddy pisses in teacher's coffee and tell him. No FCKS were given by teacher. He drinks it anyway. There's an insanity wolf in there somewhere. The person wasn't seen. But somebody took a horrible. God awful liquid shat in a big cooler filled with some soda and water. I was just in lunch and a few friends told me to come to the boys locker room to see it. I don't know how they found it. I don't know who did it. I just don't want to know. Nothing special here. Just a dude who sat next to me every goddamn day watching a mix of standard cartoons and our pay PRN. Was at a Christian school. I didn't breathe a word to the instructor. I hated that place. I only decided to turn him on at the point where he was making direct eye contact with people. Grunting and fapping away. Everyone knew but the instructor. We had no filters on our laptops. Not mine. But my sister's. She was sitting in class near this boy who was a little. Off. They were in 6th grade. And to help combat the odor of hormones. 
The teacher had asked all students to keep a little personal stick of deodorant in their desks for after gym and recess. One day they're sitting in class and my sister looks over and this kid is eating the deodorant from the stick and smearing it on his face. The teacher notices and asks what he's doing. He looks up. White surrounding his lips. His face glistening with axe. And he explains I'm trying to make friends. Edit. Unless Shonis is a mid-twenties male who went to school in the middle of Wisconsin. Stop asking if it's him. Did it work? Did he make friends? A guy was caught peeing 4 feet from the urinal by another dude. I thought everyone did this. When I was in elementary. We'd have contests. Start at the urinal and slowly back up. First guy's stream to hit the floor lost. Freshman year gym class. My school had two gyms. One larger gymnasium and then a smaller down the hall from it. Everyone was just standing around in the main gym before class started when we heard strange noises coming from the gym down the hall. A couple of students and I went to investigate the noise. I was scared when I opened the door and saw two of the special ed kids going at it. Making the weirdest noises ever. As a current, and brand new, middle school teacher. This thread frightens me. There is way too much emsturbation in this thread. In 7th grade a classmate of mine had cheated on my best friend's math test which was worth 1 stroke 3 of our grade in that class. The worst part is he actually tried to blame it on my friend who was about to get in serious trouble because the teachers thought it was him. After him telling me this I did something pretty ballsy. After class I went up to my math teacher and told him who really did it. But he still claimed that he knew exactly who it was. At this point I was so frustrated I quickly blurted out why don't you make both students retake it and whoever gets the better score is the one who didn't cheat. He agreed and said that both of them would take it after school so I decided I would wait for him so we could walk home together. He simply walked out an hour and a half later and gave me a hug saying I don't know what I would do without you dude. TLDR. Saved my best friend from getting expelled. You're a good CNT. In high school chemistry. We were mixing organic compounds in the lab. Teacher's instructions were to mix one compound. Then dispose of it before starting the next one. And under no circumstances were we to mix them together. Well. A couple of troublemakers mixed all of them and it started spewing some really noxious fumes. It was the first time in my school's history that the chem lab had to be evacuated. I once saw a girl cutting herself in a science lesson. Everyone in the class knew about it and was awkwardly trying not to stare but get a glimpse of it. I don't know if she knew that everyone was looking at her or not. In 10th grade I caught a classmate sitting alone in a rarely visited stairwell drawing something that looked like a rough building plan. I would do those occasionally. Such as when designing games which involved building maps. And I figured he was doing something similar so I started chatting with him. Neither of us really had any other friends prior to meeting. So we ended up hanging out basically every lunch hour for the rest of high school. Slightly less than 3 years later. Shortly after HS graduation. He informed me that on the day we met. I'd interrupted his designing of the route he'd be taking in a school shooting. Which he'd been planning because he'd felt like everyone else hated him. I am very glad that I took the time to stop and chat with that random lone high school kid way back then. He's been a lot better since then. And is doing pretty well for himself now. Edit. 2. Gold. Thank you for that. Kind internet stranger. Colon. Well maybe not caught in the sense that they didn't want to be seen. But during high school pay after my gym teacher refused to let anyone use the bathroom because the period just started and 15 minutes hasn't passed yet. Me and the whole class watched a kid stand up. Drop his pants. And piss with his penis spinning in a helicopter like motion all over the gym. Needless to say class was cancelled and he was suspended. I didn't get my sides back for that whole week. I heard if you do the helicopter fast enough you'll lift of.